everyone. I'm back in another video, and in today's video, we have a Dell Workstation laptop. This is a Dell Precision 7520 model, and in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can uh, uh, open it up to access the RAMs and how you can remove or add the RAMs and what are the limits that you can have in here. We have done it for many of our clients with no problem. In this video, as a demonstration and answer the questions that you keep asking, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'll leave the link for a compatible RAMs in the video description and the tools that I'll be using for the video. All right, just remember by removing the RAM and replacing the RAM, you're not gonna change anything in the system. Everything's gonna be left the way that you had it before. So pretty much you don't have to worry about backing up your files. Just by doing this process, when you power it on, it might take up to 30 seconds, 40 seconds, up to one minute before it shows anything on the screen and it starts booting up. That's called a mem check. So don't panic, you might see this light power on, off, on, on and off a few times, that's fine. Just let it be, connect the charger, and let it do its job. All right, with all this set, let's get into it and let's work. Tool number one, a very good, important one, is that having a good screwdriver is very important. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel, they're really tough in steel and they last many years. We're gonna use a Phillips number one, if you get the pro set, they will include you with the tweezers, opening tools, stuff like that. If not, grab yourself a curved tweezers, a plastic spatula, and that's it pretty much. With these two, we're gonna get it started. All right, so first thing first, power off the laptop and flip it upside down. Down here, we're gonna see two power. There's no screws or anything like that. All you wanna do, grab this block, bring it towards the right. Once it's in the mid here, you wanna slide this cover towards yourself. All right, so you want to pull it towards yourself, and then you're going to see the tiny gap opened, and what you want to do, you want to lift it up like that, and you can put it to one side. Next, we want to remove this service cover on the top. This is for the battery, for the server. You want to pull this all the way towards the right. If you move it to the right, you're going to disconnect the battery. I do not recommend you guys to disconnect the battery. Just leave it the way it is. Just remove one screw on here, on the corner here and one screw on this side. But if you want to be more cautious, go ahead and remove it. Just pull this to this side and grab it and lift up the battery. Next, you want to grab this top cover and you want to slide it towards the back a little bit and it goes about half a centimeter back and lift it up, bring it up. And right here we can see two RAM slot available. And this one had a 16 and 16 gig, but the client wanted the 16 gig back. I give him the 16 gig and he put a 4 gig in here. So you can have a 16 gig in here and 16 gig on this one. All right. To remove the, the RAM is very really simple. All you want to do, you want to put your fingers on this trigger right here and trigger right in here. And you want to pull them away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Just like that. Same thing in here. Pull them apart and the RAM will come in 45 degree angle. What you want to do in here, grab the RAM in the same 45 degree angle and pull it out like this. Don't yank it up towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the dim or the RAM. Bring it out, slide it out this way. Doesn't matter the orientation of the RAMs, it, does, it makes no difference, so you can have one-sided, double-sided. If you get a 16 gig and dim, you're going to have it just like this, full of the RAM chips like that. You have to make sure the notch on the RAM, the cut, the notch, is matching the notch right on the dim. So if you try to put this one the other way around in here, it will simply not go through because the cuts are not matching. Same thing in here. It will not match and it will not go through. You have to flip it over. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector. Same thing in here, 45 degree angle. And make sure it's right in there and there's no visible contacts. And then you simply want to push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear these triggers open and close very softly. Same thing in here. There we go. Just like that. And you can add a 16 gig and a 16 gig. But that's not all. There's another two slot that is on the other side and they're hidden. And people don't know about it. You're going to get to those. I'm going to show you. So you can put a 32 gig on this side. If you're okay with 32, leave it there in the way it is. But if you want to stick more RAM in there, all you want to do is grab this. Power here, in an offset position, bring it towards yourself. And you want to put the, you have to bring it right there and put the two screws right on top. 
on the corners. Now what you want to do, you want to pull up it like this, open up the laptop. Now here we're going to remove this uh, bezel. We're going to use a guitar pick or a metallic opening tool. You're going to, you see that tiny hole right there and one right there. You want to open, put the guitar picks right in there and we just want to lift it like this. And use your finger, just peel it up gently. Don't yank too much. Move your hand underneath as you're lifting it up so you don't break it. This is called a keyboard bezel in case you break yours. All right, once you do that, now we're going to remove the tiny screws on the keyboard. It's one, two, three, three on the front row. Go ahead and remove these three screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by supporting, by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right. Next screw is between the shift and enter right there. So remove this screw. And one is right under the L. And one between D and F under R. So remove this screw. Once you remove those, what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool um, and you want to lift it up a little bit from the front upward from this side gently. And right, before we do that, let's go ahead on the other side one second and let's go ahead and disconnect the connectors so it becomes a little safer. Remove the four screws on the caddy. All right, and then you want to lift up the caddy, slide it out. Now we want to detach these connectors in here. You want to lift up this latch right up, lift up this latch, lift up this, this and that, and slide this connector backward, slide this one back, slide that, and slide this one backward. Now. You can rip this or tape it to the one side so it's not bothering you. It will be bothering you, just go like that. Now we want to go back down here and we want to lift it up a little bit. Again, just a tiny bit and down here. And now we're going to see that this one, it is open up. I see the flex. Once you see the flex cables, you want to bring the keyboard towards yourself so you can detach these back ends. Like that and you want to just you can pull it out entirely just leave it to one side and we're going to remove one screw right away here once you remove this tiny screw lift up this cover and there is two ram dims right in there let's say if you want to put a new ram in here you can put another 16 gig in here on each one of them so you have 32 on that side and 32 on this side for 64 you want to make sure the notch is matching. Push it down all the way in. Not half. If you put it halfway through, it's not going to click in. All the way inside the connector. And then push it towards the motherboard like that. To open it, push the triggers. To put it on the top there, it's right in there. Push it in there, clicks in, and towards the motherboard. You can have two slot RAM right in here. Again, remove it easily. Put the bar, once you put the RAM in, you want to grab the cover. Goes in only one way, like this, and put that tiny screw for the cover of the RAM. Now we're gonna grab the keyboard, slide in the flex cable right under the palm rest, gently, just like that. Don't put all the way in. You wanna put it just like a little bit like that, and you wanna bring it up in a 45, and you wanna go back on under the screen like that, and then you wanna bring it down, put your fingers, make sure the cables are not getting pinched, push it down, push the corners, the side, you wanna hear those tiny click sounds. Put the screws on the front row of the keyboard. I usually don't disconnect the keyboard on the other side, but uh, I just did it for you guys to not uh, damage the, so you guys don't damage the flex cables. So it's a good idea always to disconnect them. Put the key right there and the last screw right under the L. Next, grab the bezel, push it down on the corner on the top row. You want to hear those nice click sounds. What you want to hear is those click sounds. Click on it.
on the sides and there we go you see anything on level just push it down on the front end and there we have it now you want to do flip it over you want to lift up the latch if the latch is closed open it up grab the flex cable bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector hold it and lock it down same thing in here bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the jack and lock it down and there we have it bring this cover on top grab your hard drive caddy put it in an offset position slide it in put the four screws on the caddy Once you're done with this, all you want to do is grab the battery, put the bottom end of the battery by the speaker right there, and push it down, and it goes in. Grab the cover with an offset position, push it back, and that's it. And this is how you can upgrade, add, or remove your RAM for your Dell Precision 7520 model. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I'll power on, and I will go to the BIOS by tapping F2. When you power on, it might take a few 30 seconds for it to power off, and it should power on automatically if there is any battery left. All right, let's put a plug in the charger. Because we removed the RAM, it might take a few seconds, up to one minute, so wait for it. You see, if it doesn't power on, don't worry. All you need to do is to switch to RAM places. That's fine that it didn't happen, so it's not a big deal. So you want to power it off. You want to remove the RAMs quickly. So let's remove the cover. Just going to remove the cover, not the battery. You can power it on without the cover plug, uh, uh, plugged in or installed, so you can just power on without having it like this. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery for one second, and then plug it in, remove both of the RAMs, clean up the pins with your hand, push it in, push it down, and push it down. Now let's go ahead and power it on. You can switch the RAM places, but I just cleaned the pins with my hand, so that's fine too. And let's see how it goes. So I power on. It's powering on. It should turn off and turn on again, maybe. So let's wait a few seconds. And we should get a logo here. Sometimes the pins don't make a good contact. There we go. I press F2, it goes to the BIOS. So don't panic if my adapter is not the correct adapter's wattage, but doesn't matter. F1 to reboot. So let's go to the bias. Make sure you always use the correct charger. There we have it. The RAM, we have a 16 gig and a 4 gig right there. And this is, and that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.